Many films in the past century have utilized color to create particular visual effects in order to evoke a certain mood or atmosphere in the scene. Color theory refers to the notion that certain hues on the color wheel combine to set the tone that elicit emotions from the audience. In this video essay, I will be discussing the idea of the yellow filter, its prevalence, meaning, and social implications. There has been a growing popularity for films to apply cool and warm hues to depict various time periods. Cool blue and purple tones are used to show futuristic places and concepts, while warm yellow, orange, and brown colors are used to display historical scenes in the olden day. Consequently, the yellow filter concept originally stemmed from those old westerns taking place in sandy, desert environments. For example, see here a few classic scenes in the movie Silverado. There is a noticeable warm filter as well as many brown, orange, and yellow motifs applied to the entire movie. Because of this, now the warm yellow tint and the natural warm environment is associated with the concepts in lawless old westerns, which is dirt and farming, life without technology, primitive, and in a sense, poor, suffering, manual labor, all of which are ideas depicting third world problems. The warm tint is now most commonly used in scenes showing developing countries, war-torn areas, and historical scenes, which helps evoke emotions like pity, fear, and dislike. It is clear these films apply a warm tint for scenes in developing countries to elicit similar negative emotions as scenes in war-torn areas in historical times. We also see that the opposite is true, using cool tones. In these scenes in the movie Ghost in the Shell, we see the blue filter showing scenes from very technology-forward films, depicting futuristic progressive concepts, people and places, robots, superheroes, science, innovation, modernity, polished men in suits and glass offices. The color in these scenes makes audiences see the scene as cold and uninviting, but nonetheless smart, innovative, and future-forward. Because of the association between warm hues and the olden day third world problems and the association between cold tones and progressiveness, many filmmakers and audiences have associated warm hues not only with time periods, but also places in the modern day that are considered third world. Here's another example, the movie Traffic. The atmosphere and energy of modern day clips in developing countries draws the connection to old westerns and dangerous hot jungle climates. Because of the very drastic and obvious difference in when the yellow tone is applied, it becomes very obvious which scenes the characters are in a foreign country versus at home. As an audience member who has viewed all three types of these movies, we often look for patterns and ideas, and so it's difficult not to have the same experience and emotions watching all three different types of films and begin to relate developing countries and movies and perhaps in real life with lawless westerns and jungles. Therefore, viewers are strategically made to perceive developing countries the same way as war-torn areas, old westerns, jungles, and other unrefined places, done by using the same color palettes and even parallels and themes, concepts, props, and more. It is true that color theory in cinema, particularly the yellow filter, can be very helpful in a functional way as it helps to signify change in environment and it helps to strengthen the film's tone in an emotional way as it directs the audience towards certain emotions. But this way of utilizing color theory and the yellow filter can also be detrimental by perpetuating negative stereotypes in a social and political landscape. In the example of traffic, you can quite literally see the yellow filter being applied and then taken off and then applied and then taken off in this trailer. In this scene in the movie Extraction, you can see that as soon as Chris Hemsworth enters the country Mexico, the screen immediately is flooded with that yellow filter. It is clear the filmmakers are attempting to show the audience a change in scenery and time, but the choice to use warm tones show they are trying to paint Mexico as a developing country that is traditional, dirty, lawless, and dangerous. Therefore, viewers are strategically made to perceive developing countries the same way as they perceive war-torn areas, old westerns, jungles, and other unrefined places, and that is done by using the same color palettes and even parallels in themes, concepts, props, and more. It is true that color theory in cinema, particularly the yellow filter, can be very helpful in a functional way as it helps to signify a change in environment and it helps to strengthen the film's tone in an emotional way as it directs the audience towards certain emotions. However, this way of utilizing color theory, and in particular the yellow filter, can also be very detrimental as it perpetuates negative stereotypes in a social and political landscape. It does this by attempting to draw the connection between old, sandy, lawless westerns and developing countries in the modern day.